Hey y'all, Rochelle here, your delightful crafter. So, I have a small collective haul. Um, an order came in that I forgot about because it was like on hold waiting for uh, one of the items. And then I got two items from Amazon and something else I ordered, like it came across my Facebook, but it took forever to get here because I guess it came from China. And if I can find the link, I will include it in the description, but I'm not sure if I can find it, but I, I will try. Um, anyway, um, if you're new to my channel, welcome. I hope you stick around a spell if you like what you see. Um, please hit the subscribe button, ding the bell next door if you want to get notifications of future videos. Thumbs up, likes are always appreciated. And if you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. I'm getting back to y'all slowly. And, um... Let's get started. I, I, this has partially been addressed on my channel. Um, I'm only bringing it up today because two of my friends on YouTube, I have, the ugliness is going around again, guys. That That's all I can say. I'm not going to go into details, but the ugliness is going around and it's got to stop. Um, there was, um, you know, if, if there's, if you don't have something nice to say on somebody's video, you know, just, just keep moving on. I mean, you know, Thumper, you know, is it Thumper on Bambi? If you got nothing nice to say, don't say nothing at all. I can't, I can't imitate Thumper, but y'all know where I'm going with this. Um, we're, we're a crafty community and... You know, we're here to create, we're here to share, we're here to support, and, um, you know, I, I see videos every now and then, you know, um, and, you know, I'm like, okay, it's great, you know, and, and I move on to the next. I have never said anything ugly on anybody's channel. I, it's not, it doesn't accomplish anything. Um, you know, if you have nothing nice to say, just, just keep moving. Now, like if it's like constructive, like if you're helping point something out, like in a nice way, I think that's okay. Um, cause you know, I, I, if, if I need to improve something on my channel, I, I would like to know, but if you know, you're coming on someone's channel just to be mean, um, you know, that's, that's not cool. Um, and so, um, I'm drawing a total brain fart right now because I, I wasn't sure if I wanted to address this or not, but two channels that I've watched today that I'm, I adore, um, and I love both the ladies uh, there. They've got stuff going on that is not cool. Um, I want to say that if you are creating art that always give credit where credit is due, um, I, you know, anytime I share something, I say where I, you know, I, if, if it's something that I picked up from somebody else, I, I share it. Um, the cupcake tutorial that I'm going to be doing with you guys, that is something I saw on a YouTube channel many years ago. And when I do that video, I will sh give, you know, hopefully it's still there. And so that I can share because we learn from everybody. Okay. Um, there are different, there's all kinds of stuff out there that may be out there for years, but, um, sometimes we can improve on something. Sometimes we can, um, kind of quote, make it our own, you know, with like our own touch or personality or whatever, but you saw the idea somewhere. And so that's that, you know, that's just what I'm saying. Give credit where credit is due. So... That's my spiel on that. I'm leaving it there. Um, you know, I get lots of inspiration from other channels. And that's one thing I love about YouTube. Um, you find so many amazing artists out there. And I just think it's, it's important that we support each other. You know, that kind of falls on the same lines of, yes, I do shop AliExpress. But I want to support our local um, companies because if we quit supporting them, you know, it's not going to get, you know, they're not going to create more for us. It all kind of falls in the same line. 
and I support I support local if I can. Um, if there's things on Alley that I love and I do not recognize it anywhere, and I'll kind of research a little bit, um, then I'll order it. But y'all know, y'all know, you watch my channel, that I support, you know, local um, supplies. Uh, I just think it's really important that we do that. Same thing with artists. If you one artist gives you inspiration to create something, you know, mention them. Send them there. You know, um, it's just, it's the right thing to do because we're all learning from each other. So that is that. Um, and I'm going to get to why I'm here. Uh, this is a small crafty haul. Like I said, um, some Amazon. I really cannot remember what website this came from. It is from China. Everything on it is basically in Chinese. It says, uh, I think it says made in China. I can't read it. Um, anyway, there's that. And I accidentally threw the bag away, but I have a, the order. I think it is either from craft direct or scrapbook.com. I'll be honest. I can't remember. I will go try and dig it out so that I can put it in the description. And then, um, Amazon. So we'll just start with this. You know, you're like, ooh, glitter pins. Yay. We can get glitter pins anywhere. Well, let me tell you, we tested these out and I don't have any like good scrap paper right by me right this second, but I'm going to do a little test on all of these and then I'm going to pull it up there so that y'all can see close. Um, this is the back of an envelope. This stuff really sparkles. And um, the pens have, they're kind of like triangular so they don't roll. They're really juicy. I like that. And um, I think they were only like $12. They're kind of pricey, but um, seeing as how smooth they are and how vibrant they are and how much they sparkle, I think they're worth every penny. Um, and it's what, two, four, six. So it's only eight of them. I would definitely buy them again. So I, I am probably going to go hunt it down so I can get another set. They're very sparkly. Um, I can't see what your view is right now on the camera. So, sorry. Do, 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 do. And... So, I was telling y'all that I ran to Hobby Lobby, <laughs> hoping to get the clearance, and um, my store wasn't marking down yet. <laughs> well, one of y'all, and, and I apologize because I know we've chatted a little bit, um, but I can't look on my phone because I'm recording on it, but uh, I got a message today stating that um, the Hobby Lobby on Bitters, which is the road here in San Antonio, had started marking down. So I ran there after work. And I've got a Hobby Lobby clearance haul for you guys. Um, I don't think I'm going to do it tonight. I'm going to do it tomorrow. And I was really happy. I, because they started marking down just a few days ago, I think I'm going to go check my Hobby Lobby that's by my house again, and maybe they've already started. So, there are the colors. I'm hoping... There we go. Do you see how much that sparkles? I mean, that is insane. They are beautiful. They're not smudging. I mean, you see how quickly that is? You know, how quickly that dried? Um, so, that is that. Like I told you, you can't really read it. It says CO, it's like Colink with no I. That's what it says. Everything is, yeah, there's, 
the envelope it came in said it came from China. That's how, why I'm assuming it's from China is because that's what the envelope says. Um, but I was very happy. I'm very happy. Um, I was worried at first, you know, like $12, you know, um, but I think they're worth every penny. And I think I got free shipping. I, like I said, I, honestly, I can't remember. Um, but if I can find my email and the link, I will share it in the description for you guys. Um, and I'll update whether I can find it or not. So you're not coming back trying to, you know, see what you can find. If you're interested, of course. But I think they're gorgeous. So there is that first find. Trying to get these put away. And I'm making a mess. Seriously. All right. They're just going to sit there. So that's that. From Amazon, I ordered more of the pocket um, the, the pockets that I like to use to store my stamps and dies. Uh, I think they were 14 or 17, I think, for a hundred of these pockets. And I've been using these for a couple years. I they hold up really well, and so there's that. And I ordered more magnets because I mean, granted, I ha still have some that I can use, but I know once I start going through everything again, I'm going to run out of magnets and I really just don't want to have to stop. I just want to keep going and, you know, putting things in their pockets and, and trying to get everything cleaned up. So this is, I want to say what I ordered is the 9 by 11, I think. I want to say it's nine by 11. So I get two full cuts out of it. And then I get strips that I can use for like smaller, either small projects or like small little die sets. Cause I just like to keep everything together. So there's that. Now for, I wish I could look on my phone. I should have done that before I started this. I apologize. Y'all know I have been stalking the Simple Stories Cruisin' um, scrapbook kit as of cruising. And I found it for, um, I think somebody actually directed me to the site. So again, I'm going to have to go look. But I ordered two of the um, collection kits and then one of the the basic uh, cardstock to go with it. Oh, I take it back. I ordered two. So, because it all coordinates, it looks great. And so these are the colors you get of the cardstock. They don't seem to be very heavyweight, but that's okay. It'll, it'll still work. Um, we'll pull the papers out real quick. Here's the stickers that come with it. Love that cruise ship. And um, all of the stickers on here I'll use. I think the only one I probably wouldn't is maybe the whale. Um, I might save it for something. I have no idea because I've not seen a whale cruising. So anyway. But you, me, and the sea. Best vacay ever. Bon voyage. Let's cruise. Explore the shore. Anchors away. Down by the sea. Sunshine and salt water. So yeah. So let's take a quick peek at the papers. Okay, so there's this, the stickers. And when I look at this page here, I mean, right away, I, I don't know why Disney pops in my head, but I mean, it's not really Disney colors, but it does. And then you have the cut aparts. Then we have our stripes. And we have more cut aparts. Then we have this plaid going on. Um, I really like that. More cut aparts. Got the cut aparts going on, that's for sure. We got our polka dots. More cut aparts. Then we have a map. Come on. We have our waves. We have, looks like chain link, but it also could be your little, um, life 
buoy little rings, whatever, and our anchors. And then we have the deck, so I'm going to call it the deck. And those, they're, I guess that's not what those are. I guess they're just rings. And then this is our little life preserve. There, life preserver. That's what it is. We have some awesome stripes. And um, I'm thinking this is probably, what, a one inch? These are probably a one inch, I'm guessing. Maybe. I'm going to have to get my punches out and do a test and see. So these could be punched out and you could do like fun rosettes maybe and have this be like the little center medallion for the rosette. Um, so that would be a lot of fun. So there's that. Then we have our yellow stripe. And then a bunch of sea sayings. Life is good. Ahoy. Seize the day. Set sail. Soak up the sun. Sunshine and salt water. Beach please. Gone cruising. Ship happens. Let's cruise. Um, you, me, and the sea, offline, best vacay ever, gone cruising, um, I'm sure there's more there that, yeah, and then we have our stars, and some red stripes, and then we have our, um, sheet of compasses, and that's what this is, this is a mariner's compass, then we have our flags, our signal flags, and then we have Minnie Mouse, and then we have the big old cruise ship. And then the front. And I always tell you guys, save these because you can cut this up and use these as, as embellishments too. So I'm all about making it stretch. So I'm going to flip that back over. And I will put this away later. So there's that. I got the chipboard um, embellishments that go with this. So super adorable. Um, I wish it was, you know, uh, two, you know, two boards, but it's just the one and they are stickers. Then I got the enamel dots to go with it. And I got the four by six sticker sheets. So let's take a peek at the stickers. They're really cute. I'm definitely going to mat this and then fussy cut it out. A lot of this I'm probably going to mat and fussy cut out and then I can pop it up and give it some dimension. Um, these are kind of like, kind of sort of like stamps. There's a whole world of adventure out there. Cruising, the sea is calling and I must go. Anchors away. Beach, best escape anyone can have. Love that. This little light of mine, I'm going to let it shine. You, me, and the sea. Oh. Time to set sail, time to set sail. And then we have just a bunch of sentiments. Some, some of these that match the cut aparts. I love that lighthouse, that's cute. And then we have our porthole and a sailboat and the darn seagulls that wanna come swoop by and take your food. Decks, docks, and flip flops, cruise hair, don't care. I've got a perfect layout I wanna do and use that. Set sail and seize the day. And then you have um, most cruises are seven days. Now, I have been on an eight-day cruise. Um, I've been on some four- and five-day cruises as well. Um, but this is kind of set up to do a seven-day cruise. So you can kind of label it, you know, like sea day, whatever port. And then you can just add some, you know, some sentiments in there. Have some more signals. Well, not really signals, uh, but... You know, just stuff to decorate. And some more stickers. Keep calm and cruise on. Explore the shore down by the sea and bon voyage. So there's that. So that's what I picked up for the cruising. The next thing I got was the foil quill. I picked up the Amy Tangerine uh, USB so that I could have more designs um, to play with. Because I only had the one, um, I only have one. And I think it came with the kit that I bought. So this is kind of a sampling of the images that are on this USB that it will quill or foil or whatever it'll do. And then um, this was like a small, uh, like it's a foil quill card kit bundle. 
comes in this cute, uh, says Merry Christmas. It's a Christmas edition, obviously. So when I'm done, I can still, I still have this adorable box. And I think I might use this to store my USBs and stuff in. But it came with a, um, this Merry Christmas USB. And apparently this is only available in this kit. That's my understanding. So you can only get this USB in this kit and it comes with a hundred designs. I don't know what they all are, but it says Christmas and we know that that's my jam. So this girl had to have it. It came with already pre bowed up bows to put on the cards. This is just telling you everything that's in it. They like closed everything up. It comes with foil for doing the foiling. Let's see what colors they are. Oh, I got a, where's my scissors? Sorry. I'm opening this with you. I have, I haven't gone through it. So, so it looks like we have red. Is it all red? I don't think it's all red. We have some gold and I think there's green. Yeah, there's some green foil. So there's red, gold, and green foiling. Perfect because, you know, Christmas. Then you've got your envelopes, your card bases. Um, and then you have like your tops that you put down on the mat and foil. So I'm going to have to try and hunt it down so I can try and show, I guess, some of the samples. I figured it'd show some samples in here, but I guess it's kind of like leaving it up to your imagination. So let me, I should, probably should have read it more. So it comes with five red cards, five green cards, five cream, five black, 20 white envelopes. So you can make 20 cards, 10 red bows, 10 gold bows, one storage box, and then five of everything, five foil quill sheets. Um, so five red, five green, five gold, and five silver. So we get four, um, so we get 20 sheets of foil and then cardstock sheets. So the ones that you would, like I said, you would mat, you'd put down on the mat and then put your foil down and then use the system to draw the artwork. So five red, green, cream, and black, and then the one USB with the hundred designs. So I think thought and I now that I see it I think it is a really great deal um, I will try I, I will hunt it down and I'll post the link below um, for y'all to check that out um, I don't know if it was a while supplies last last but I do believe it was a pre-order so um, I had to pre-order that so that is my little collective haul y'all um, tomorrow I'm going to do my Hobby Lobby clearance, what I found. It's mostly stickers. So just so y'all know, it's lots of stickers. Um, there were some really nice rubber stamps. Y'all, I hit the Delicata ink jackpot. I am so excited because I love Delicata ink. Um, so my daughter was laughing because everything was named something shimmer, which, <laughs> which is one thing Delicata is good for is it's, it has a shimmer to its ink so anyway that's it remember let's be nice um if you have nothing nice to say just keep moving on um we got we don't have time for that we're here to have fun make friends share our art and support each other so with that i hope you'll have a great night love you guys to pieces and happy crafting Bye bye <music>